my lovelies welcome or welcome back if you're new here hey hey my name is Levion, and thank you so much for stopping by so in today's video i wanted to give you some kitchen countertop inspiration as well as share with you some kitchen drawer organizing tools that in my opinion are kind of cool so if this sounds like fun please continue to watch To style my countertops, I'm using all items I already had in my home. I did purchase a really cute faux plant though. I thought it was super cute, so I wanted to pick that up. As I slowly make changes of decor in our home, my goal was to keep everything simple, minimal, but yet functional. I think those three words just best describes my style. As you can see, I have a pretty decent sized kitchen with a nice amount of countertop space and cabinets. So I wanted to style with pieces that wouldn't overcrowd my countertops, but definitely complement them. Before styling each countertop, I'm just gonna give everything a really good wipe down. So I have 11 outlets and that's just in the kitchen alone. I try my best to hide most of them. There's at least six on the wall. I won't try to cover them all. I know for most hiding the outlets is a must, but honestly, they really don't bother me as much. I personally don't care for appliances on the countertops, especially if you have the space to kind of tuck them away, or of course, if you are using them every day. I use my Keurig all the time, so that of course would be placed on top of the counter. So kind of off subject, but we sitting here talking, so I'm gonna go ahead and chat it up a little bit. I kinda wanna switch out my Keurig for an espresso machine. Let me know if it's worth it. Like, I love my Keurig, but I kind of want to get a little bit more fancier with my coffee. I've been watching like YouTube videos and just kind of like doing the comparisons of the two. And it does seem like Nespresso has been winning the debate, but I'm not sure because those Nespresso pods are kind of expensive. Let me know if you switched out to an Nespresso machine or if you always had one and you kind of just preferred over the Keurig. Let me know below in the comments to help me make my decision a little bit more easier. The colors I'm pretty much sticking with are creams, golds, and blacks. I think by adding in these colors, they just complement, softens, and just lightens up the kitchen instead of just having that strong brown throughout the kitchen. Even though I really do love my cabinets, I know like white cabinets are like in, but trust me, dark cabinets are gonna make a comeback. To update them though, I will eventually like just change out the knobs just to give them a different look. So I enjoy having cookbooks on my countertops. Like they really just give me the inspiration to make my best meal. Although, y'all gonna kill me for this. I have not made like one dish out of any of these books. I know y'all, I'm big time fronting right now. I keep saying that I will and one day I will. Typically, I am so against like condiment jars, like sugar, flour, tea. I honestly can't remember the last time I used any flour or sugar. Of course, put them on your countertops if you use them every single day. My husband literally eats oatmeal with brown sugar every day and I got so tired of pulling them out of the pantry so I just decided to just keep them on top of the counters.
The island is like our gathering place. When hanging out in the kitchen or even when we're having company, we kind of like just somehow migrate all in the kitchen, especially since our dining area is connected. We like to kind of like talk across the room to one another. So I wanted to place this setup like kind of off to the side so it wouldn't block us from all just kind of talking and hanging out. I'm loving these next organizing tools. I never suggest organizing products because one, I think they're just too expensive. And if you're not really going to keep up with the organizing, it's really a waste of your time and money. I don't know if anybody ever told you, or maybe you even already know this, but really keeping everything overly organized and aesthetically pleasing, which is like totally in right now, it takes hard work and dedication, okay? So if you are not the one who you feel like it's just not going to keep up with it please just save your coins put it to something else home girl because yeah you're just gonna waste your time definitely think about that before clicking on that last checkout button okay this little tea um bag organizer which y'all can tell like i am not a huge tea drinker because i really don't have <laughs> that much in there but i don't do think that it keeps my tea bag you know pretty well organized This K-Cup organizer is pretty easy to keep up with though. It holds 35 K-Cups, which is pretty much what comes in the boxes and it keeps your K-Cup super organized and accessible.
This expandable spice rack organizer is perfect to organize your drawers with your favorite spices. Super easy if you do use the small spice containers. So this is me like overly particular Le'Veon speaking. I cannot stand like boxes of anything. I think I've discussed this before in my kitchen organizing video. Like anything that comes in boxes, especially like in my kitchen, like I just take them out and put them in like little um, containers and just throw the boxes out like immediately. Like for some reason, I just don't like having boxes in the house. But anyway, this foil organizer is so cool. It does allow you to keep all of your rolls of foil, plastic wrap, and like parchment paper all together without the containers taking up so much space. So anything that allows me to like save on space and also like take away those boxes is cool with me. So this one right here, I'm not even gonna lie, is my favorite. You know what's real when you get excited over household appliances and whatnot, but this is something I feel like we all could use. This Ziploc bag container is so convenient, it holds each size of your Ziploc bags all together. For the most part, we do use like the reusable ones, but I feel like you always have to have a few Ziploc baggies hanging around. And I also love it because it holds a really nice amount of the bags. All right, my lovelies, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed today's video, and I also hope that you have found some inspiration to go ahead and style your countertops as you may see fit, and also organize your kitchen drawers as well. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave me some comments down below, and if you aren't already, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you join my YouTube family. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.